Hi everyone. Today we are going to see about the standard deviation. So what is meant by standard deviation? Standard deviation is a number used to tell how measurements for a group are spread out from the average. A low standard deviation means that most of the number are close to the average. While a high standard deviation means that the numbers are more spread out from the average value. So this is the basic definition of the standard deviation. So we can refer IS four five six reaffirm two zero two one subclass nine point two point four standard deviation is there. The standard deviation for each grade of concrete shall be calculated separately. So every grade need a standard deviations. Standard deviation based on test strength of sample. So three conditions are there. Number one, number of test results of samples. So how much number of test results need to be required for the standard deviation? The total number of test strength of samples required to constitute an acceptable record for a calculation of standard deviation shall be not less than thirty. So Minimum 30 numbers of test results required for the standard deviation calculation. So less than 30, it's not acceptable. Attempt should be made to obtain the 30 samples as early as possible when a mix is used for the first time. For example, first time we are going to use new concrete, like uh, new grade concrete, like. Uh, M60, M70. So we need to do the samples and then get the standard deviation results. Second, in case of significant change in concrete, when significant changes are made in the production of concrete batches, for example, changes in the material used, mix design, equipment, or technical control, the standard deviation value shall be separately calculated for such batches of concrete. If there is any changes from the previous batch of concretes, so we need to calculate the standard deviation separately for those batches. Standard deviation to be brought up to date. The calculation of the standard deviation shall be brought up to date after every change of mix design. So if we if so if we are doing any changes in the design mix, we need to Calculate the standard deviation up to date for each changes. This assumed standard deviation, where sufficient test results for a particular grade of concrete are not available, the value of standard deviation given in Table Eight may be assumed for a design mix of in the first instance. As soon as the results of samples are available, actual calculated standard deviation shall be used and the mix designed properly. If we are getting the minimum 30 test results and calculate the standard deviation and then use the actual standard deviation for the mix design. However, when adequate past records for a similar grade exists and justify to the designer a value of standard deviation different from that shown in Table 8, it shall be permissible to use that value. For example, we can design the M25 grade of concrete. Our yearly standard deviation is 3 newton per mm square, but the table eight shows 4 newton per mm square. If the designer is designer with experience with this M25 grade, he can shall proceed with 3 newton per mm square standard deviation. And table eight is revised in amendment number four. Amendment number four, table eight, assumed standard deviation. So grade of concrete M10, M15, the assumed standard deviation 3.5 newton per mm square. For grades of for grades of M20, M25, the assumed standard deviation is four. From M30 to M60, for M30 to M60 grade of concretes, the assumed standard deviation is five. And 
in there is two nodes are there the above value correspond to the site control having proper storage of cement weigh batching of all materials controlled addition of water regular checking of all materials aggregate grading and moisture content and periodical and periodical checking of workability and strength where there is a deviation from the above the values given in the above table shall be increased by 1 newton per mm square so if there is any changes in the design the standard deviation value shall be increased by 1 newton per mm square for grade above m60 the standard deviation shall be established by actual trials based on a assumed proportions before finalizing the mix for grade above m60 we need to do the samples up to 30 values and calculate the standard deviation and then only we can use the standard deviation value into the design mix to calculate the standard deviation the formula is mentioned in IS 10262-2019 calculation of standard deviation to calculate the calculate the standard deviation yes of the strength test results are follows for single group of consecutive test results s equal to root of summation of x i minus x bar whole square divided by n minus 1 where S is the standard deviation of the group, N is the number of test results considered, X bar is the average of N test results considered and XA is the individual test results. So this is the formula for calculating the standard deviation. This is a single group. If we are having a one or more groups, we need to calculate the standard deviation in the below formula so most of the time we have to do the single group considered test results only i have prepared one example for the standard deviation calculation the grade of concrete is m30 and i have taken 30 numbers of results so number of test results the notification is n and the number of test results are 30 and individual results value the notification is xi the individual test results are notified here the average average of 30 number of results is 35.03 so average is notified as a x bar so 35.03 is the average for the 30 number of test results so x i minus x bar it means 36 minus 35.03 36 minus 35.03 I have calculated each and every, every individual results so this is the xi minus x bar so as per the formula we need to do the square for the xi bar minus x bar result so and this is the square value of the xi minus x bar I have calculated for each and individual test values and the summation of xi minus x bar square is 242.967 this is the actual calculation if we are having a 30 number of cube results for a one grade we need to do the calculation in this manner where summation of xi minus x bar square is equal to 242.967 n minus 1 equal to 29 so 30 minus 1 is 29 as per is 10262.2019 the standard deviation is root of summation of xi minus x bar whole square divided by n minus 1 we know the value of summation of xi minus x minus equal 242.967 and n minus 1 is 30 minus 1 29 so we have rooted the value the standard deviation is 2.8945 we have another option to calculate the standard deviation in simple format we have a formula in excel so the formula is equal to std eva 
and select the 13 numbers of results from this to this and close the bracket and simple enter we are get the same results in both the excel formula and the manual calculations on the manual calculation to add one more thing see the standard deviation value is 2.89 if i have made any changes in individual result like far away from the average value 37 37 instead of 6 46 number 32 into 46 so the earlier the standard deviation value is 2.8 but i have changed only two things i have changed only two individual results but the results are gone up to four if the standard deviation is more the individual values are more variation than the average we need to check the two results two batches so we need to check the two batches of concrete is there is any changes from the concrete so there is any changes from design mix or any workmanship issue or any technical issues so we need to determine the root cause for the issue and it has to be corrected for the future concreting works this is the most advantage of calculating the standard deviation these are all the things are useful for your learnings thank you